Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make custom icons for your apps on your iPhone or iOS device. So you can change um, things like Spotify, Evernote, um, the clock, etc. into different logos. So for example, I've changed Instagram into a black and white. So that looks pretty cool in my opinion. So anyway, the app we're going to be using for this um, tutorial is called iThemes. iThemes is an app that changes the app icons and the overall theme of your phone if you want it to. Um, you can download sets of icons so to change your whole app library. Now you can make custom ones and you can get custom wallpapers so that's what completes the theme. Anyway, let's open up iThemes. And iThemes is available for free on the iOS App Store. Just put in iThemes, comes up very easily. It's a relatively new app, but it's pretty well made. Here's themes. Um, you can get a theme downloaded if you want. So, for example, a color kit, a 3D one, pink, um, yellow, white. But you have to subscribe to get these. But you can save them all but you have to pay two dollars for the first month so that's too bad but you can make custom ones so this app is still worthwhile so let's go to creator and this is where you can um, make different logos make different custom app logos or icons so you can also go down to the yellow button in the bottom right but we'll just go to the top right and here is where you can begin so there's different fonts you can use um you can type your own words in. You can adjust the size, colors. You can move them. You can rotate, opacity, shadow. A bunch of different various features that are all free in the custom section. So there's a bar at the bottom. We go to the bottom left. And this is where you can get a bunch of different um, icons already made for you. And you just put them in and you can change the colors of them. And you can change the colors behind them. There's also various icons like animals, arrows, various different things. And if you want more, you can always go to the internet or your photo library or your camera to get more. So if you wanted ones from the internet, I would just go to find um, a PNG file of a various logo and save it. Make sure it has a transparent background. But... Most likely, um, your popular apps that you might want to change are already in here. So let's do Instagram. Let's go to resize and we'll make it about that. We want to change the color to black. Then you tap on the button to the right of the lit up icon at the bottom bar. So um, to be more clear, the one that's on the side of the white icon. So to the right. So that will be this one and this is how you change the background so that's a black and white themed and then you push save download and it will go to your photos you have to give it permission so we got the first step done now go to settings of the app how to change icons and that will tell you all about it so the app you'll be using is Shortcuts, which already is on your phone. You'll go to the plus, and it goes through it all, but I'll show you. So let's actually begin the second step, and that is to open Shortcuts. Be sure to make a new shortcut. Tap Add Action. Go to Scripting. Go to Open App. Go to Choose. And then you'll go down to your specific app, and for us, it would be Instagram. Tap on the three little dots in the near the top right, add to home screen, change the logo, and you'll choose a photo. So here we have it, choose, uh, let's change the name to Instagram, tap add, tap done, and here it is. Here's the one with the white and the black background. I made this one with the white and the black background earlier. Let's tap on it. You'll get this sh shortcut notification 
but it goes away pretty fast. Here is Instagram. So it's pretty sweet in my opinion. It's pretty awesome. Once you get it set up, it's not too hard to use right afterwards. So setting up takes a couple minutes, but then you should be good to go. So let's go back to the app and go to settings to see what else we can do there. So you can contact them, tell people, request icons, rate us on the app store, and various other things. So typical stuff you would see in settings. But anyway, this is a great app. I like it. I think it's a great idea. I'm sure there are other ones, but this is a nice new one, and I would recommend using it. Um, I don't know if I would recommend buying it for the year. That's very um, expensive. $50 just to change your look of your phone is um, unrealistic, but I think the $2 for the first month is realistic. So I would just do that if you wanted the custom stuff. Just save it, download everything that you would want, and then let the... Subscription expire after the first month, but be remember to cancel it. I haven't signed up for it, but I may. I don't know. But anyway, if you do, just do it for the first month and afterward. I wouldn't recommend doing the whole year because that's pretty pricey. But anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Um, hope it was a help to you. I think it's a cool app, and I hope you do too. Um, please leave a like if you like this video, and comment if you have any questions, and I'll try to answer them. And please subscribe if you like my content and thought this was helpful. Thanks, guys, and have a good rest of your day.